Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and have you ever dreamed of working for Tesla? Uh, you can't really argue. They are one of the most important companies on Earth right now. Love them or hate them. They pioneered the EV industry. They put rockets into space in a renewable manner. Low Earth orbit, high communication satellites. They're building commuting tunnels underneath California, uh, pioneering renewable energy sources. No matter where you look, Tesla seems to be active there. And on any given day, depending if he said something stupid on Twitter or not, Elon Musk is often the richest man in the world. So working for a company like that can definitely look good on your resume. So what kind of skills do you need to be a software engineer at Tesla? Well, in this very particular case, and, and granted, it is a very specific job, but how about being a Godot engine developer? And this is actually kind of cool for Godot because a lot of, you know, trying to gain more and more legitimacy is being used at big studios or in cool environments. You know, the more ship titles there are, the easier it is to talk people into using your technology. And when you have a corporation like Tesla on board using the Godot engine, that's a nice little feather in the cap. So they're looking to hire a rich user interface engineer for their mega pack Power Pack, Powerwall, Tesla Solar, Solar Roof, Power Hub, and Auto Bidder products. Basically, you'll be creating their UI for the mobile application. And where this gets interesting, at least for a game development channel, is this paragraph right here. Powered by our highly performant distributed system, our UIs are built with TypeScript, React, React Native, D3 Scales, WebGL, and ba-dum, ba-dum, psh! The Godot game engine, yes. Uh, we um, collaborate closely with our Los Angeles design studio, focus on extensible design systems, and obsess over open source quality solutions to create scalable applications. We move quickly with an emphasis on data contracts via protocol buffers and aspire to always delight our users with wonderful interactions. If this sounds like your jam, we want to chat. And just so that you know it wasn't a mistake, under responsibilities, line number one, they are looking for UI um Engineer UI platforms using TypeScript, React, React Native, Redux, D3 Scales, WebGL, and once again, the Godot game engine. On top of that, you are going to need to have a master's degree, two years of experience building mobile or web-based applications, and various different other things. So the big thing for this story here is Tesla are using the Godot engine for their user interface development for their mobile app in the power space. That is actually a really cool thing uh, for the Godot game engine and, and uh, definitely a feather in their hat. If they can start being, and this is one of those things with the Godot engine that's quite nice, is it is a lightweight install. So if they can be more on the um, embedded systems front of things, hey, that's pretty solid. That's that's a nice, cool move. And the funny thing is, oh, oh sorry, before I move on to the funny thing, uh, the uh, Godot uh, tweet, this actually came from uh, Retro Matten, uh, this isn't my find. I, I saw his tweet and I thought, <laughs> that's hilarious. I'm going to do a video about it. So in terms of crediting this one, uh, blame Matt, not me. Uh, I just happened to read it and thought I could share it with you guys. But there is another tie-in between uh, Godot and uh, Elon Musk and the Godot engine. And it's, it's got really nothing to do with one another, but they're um, also naming their products after the same thing. So they actually, they launched the Boring Company. The first thing the Boring Company made, I think, was the Boring Flamethrower. And then the next thing they did was made a boring machine for drilling high-speed tunnels under LA. And the first machine that they built was named Godot. That's kind of cool. And also as a bit of Canadian pride, apparently Godot was built here in Canada. So uh, the boring machine that they use for the boring company, an Elon Musk company, is actually called Godot. But again, that has nothing to do with this announcement here. Uh, and neither of them really have anything to do with the reality. But this is a really cool kind of uh, feather in the cap for the Godot engine. So I figured I would share the story here. So if you are looking for a job uh, and you want to be a Tesla front-end UI engineer, hey, you got to know Godot. Uh, so it's kind of cool to see. Let me know uh, what you think of this. Does it, does it give you a little bit more legitimacy in your eyes for the Godot engine? Do you think it's a good thing or do you think it's just... A quirk. Uh, also, another thing is be really cool to see Godot uh, get a little bit of a sponsorship from Tesla. Tesla is actually moving more and more into uh, entertainment in the car, uh, so it'd actually be kind of cool to get a Godot partnership. So Godot products run nicely on the Tesla screen. So what are you saying, Elon? If you heard this, you should give uh, the Godot engine a, a look. All right, that's it. What do you think? Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.